Hey guys, it's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. How are you all doing? I just hopped out of the shower and I realized, hey, I got a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and jump on a reaction here for Norway Week 2. And I'm kind of excited about this one because it's somebody I've never heard before. This will be a first time listen to a Norwegian artist by the name of Dagny. I've had a lot of requests for her over the last number of months, so I'm happy to include her include her here on Norway Week 2. Uh, I've read that she's like a pop singer or an indie pop singer. I don't, Sorry, I don't remember what I heard, but something along that lines. And the song I'm going to be listening to is apparently a couple years old, and it's called It's Only a Heartbreak. Whew, wow. Growing up, I went through a respectful number of heartbreaks and breakups. <laughs> Many were, I'll be honest, were quite painful. And it was all their fault, never mind. And <laughs> and that may be an understatement as far as the painful side. So I'm quite familiar with this whole heartbreak thing. Because of that, I'll be inter interested to see what her message is here on this song. So let me get my headphones on. You knew that was going to come up. And I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, we are back. You know what? I think I kind of enjoy saying Norway Week 2. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've said it like three times now, so bear with me. I'll get past it. By Norway Week 2, Song 4, I'll be past that, and I probably won't even say it anymore. So, all right. So this is Dagny, and the song is It's Only a Heartbreak. Let's give this one a listen, shall we? Here we go. I like piano. That's a good start. I'm going to pause this. I will back up so we can kind of flow into the second half a little better. Well, this was kind of a fun video. Boy, I I don't like to say this word, but I'm, I'm, I don't like the T word all that much. But I'm going to say she does definitely remind me of Taylor Swift a little bit. Just kind of the way she delivers some of her, her lyrics. Not that that's a bad thing. Just, Taylor Swift is incredibly talented and... I just, I just heard that she's looking with this tour that she's on, that she's probably looking to make over a billion dollars on it. So kudos to her for figuring all that stuff out. I remember when she just came out. But Dagny, we're talking about Dagny. Um, I like her voice a lot. And the, the beginning kind of caught me off guard because I heard this kind of distant, uh, low bass piano play. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to like that. And then that was gone. <laughs> so she messed me up with that. Almost immediately, though, the drum machine or whatever they're called kicked in and definitely changed the tone of the song. This song has an interesting, I don't know, combination of sounds, if you will. The drums or the synthesizers, whatever, uh, created that drum beat, created somewhat of a 
choppy sound to it. It wasn't like a smooth song. It was kind of choppy. At least that's the way I took it. And at the same time, which to me was really interesting and created a bit of a contrast, some of Dagny's vocals flowed quite nicely and smoothly. And that mix created this sense of unease or discomfort, if you will. But maybe that was by design because of the topic of the video. So I found that like really interesting. So, all right, I backed it up. Let's go ahead and play this to the end and then we'll talk some more. Here we go. Okay, that was fun. I think every once in a while I need to just break into a... <laughs> like she did. That'd be fun. Something to look forward to when you watch my videos. So clearly this video has a repetition aspect to it. I guess it's kind of a catchy hook that people will obviously associate with this particular song. I didn't count the number of times she said... Um, I think she said, here's looking at you... But it was a lot. I should have, next time I watched it, I'll have to keep count. She also says, which I thought was kind of interesting in this song, something along the lines of she's allowing herself to think of this person once in a while. Um, to me, that kind of sounds like she hasn't quite let go yet. Like there's two sides of her, like one side wants to let go and the other side once in a while is like, come on, let me think of this just a little bit more and then it comes back. So... I think kind of where that is. And I kind of look at the two girls. Um, and again, I'm just guessing. You guys may have a completely other thoughts on it. But I'm looking at these two girls as maybe friends. Um, kind of like a support group, if you will. Helping her along the way during this process of healing. So, all right. Let me do this. Let me ponder my list of failed relationships. <laughs> and I'll get my headphones off and I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, welcome back to Final Thoughts and the channel that welcomes people who grew up in the 60s and 70s, maybe the 80s, iffy. <laughs> All right, we'll invite half the people from the 80s. How's that? Um, I'm kidding. Even the 50s. So whoever's out there, uh, welcome. This was uh, Dagny. And I'm really quite, honestly, I'm kind of impressed by the number and quality of artists that Norway somehow manages to put out there for us to listen to and to enjoy. If I was smart, and I'm not saying I ever was or ever will be, but I would put thoughts into a new channel and just call it Modern Life for the Norwegian Mind. <laughs> I think there'd be plenty of material out there to support that. Um, all kidding aside, I honestly enjoyed listening to Dagny's voice and her overall sound. It made me a little curious, I'll be honest, uh, as to what other content she put out there. And I'm not sure if she sticks exclusively with pop or if she mixes things up a bit. And I'd also like to know if she does any of her own writing, whether it be lyrically or with the music. Or just overall, how involved is she in the creation of her songs? I don't know how long she's been out. I'm definitely going to be researching her more now that I've heard a song from her. So any feedback or interesting tidbits that you guys know, um, please let me know. I really only looked for this song because it was re recommended by several people. So now I've done it. 
yay me <laughs> okay guys listen if you enjoyed this video please like and follow and if you would be so kind as to subscribe to my channel that'd be even better i do have both patreon membership pages as well as the youtube membership page and i do my best to put a lot of content out there i'm slowly starting to inch up as far as the amount of times i post and i'm going to be continuing to increase that so trying to make at least something really special for you guys so thank you for listening remember only life is priceless so make each and every day count peace out i'll talk to you next time bye bye